Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press and I am super excited to show you something that no one has shown you before and that is a rendering slash photograph of the 2022 Toyota Tundra Platinum. We've all seen the teaser photo from Toyota for the TRD Pro and we're very excited about that but no one has yet seen a fully uh, uncamouflaged version of the Tundra in other formats. So I've been working hard the last couple of weeks to create a proper image and a photo to show you what the Platinum might look like. And here it is. This is the 2022 Toyota Tundra Platinum as I imagine it. Now there is a lot of things I did behind the scene to create this image from the Tundra TRD Pro. So let me walk you through how I came up with this 2022 Tundra Platinum Photo. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you already know that I've dedicated my time and my energy to give you the latest information about Toyota products, especially the Tundra. And we have been uh, blessed with many different uh, sneak photos from Toyota. And this one, of course, is one that first gave us a hint of what the Tundra would look like with a teardrop headlight and the marker light indicating the new TRD Pro will be more than 80 inches wide. And we were shocked to see this big light bar in the front plus the two bright LED fog lamps. And then finally, we got to see the actual TRD Pro from Toyota after a number of photos were leaked by the dealers. So here is the TRD Pro and we noticed a few interesting things like a camouflage or army pattern on the black trims and then of course a light bar and the marker lights in the front and on the side indicating this TRD Pro is more than 8 inches wide and then Toyota put these uh, kind of heavy duty truck look and feel on the hood and then completed the look by giving us a new BBS forged aluminum wheels. So this was the TRD Pro and this is the only photo that was given to us from Toyota so we have not been able to see all the other variants of the Tundra lineup so I've decided to go and investigate further and create a new render or a new photo image of the 2022 Tundra Platinum. So uh, I'm going to give you a full detail on how I came up with this image but uh, namely the front is changed of course the wheels are the 20 inch larger wheels with a uh, chrome look and if you put the uh, Tundra Platinum side by side with the Tundra TRD Pro you can begin to see what I had to go through to transform the front of the Tundra TRD Pro to mimic what uh, we've seen from the spy photos for the Platinum and a variety of other parts of the trucks were changed to make sure that it reflects on what the Platinum will look like. Now all Tundra, regardless of the format, will have the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 that's now in the Land Cruiser and also the hybrid version should be offered. But let me walk you through the memory lane and show you some of the previous rendering I did. This was the Tundra Limited I did about four months ago and then it has the kind of egg crate or honeycomb design grill that we've seen in spy photos. But the grille inserts are chrome finish and that will be the major difference for a limited. Uh, and then I also produced other images, namely the TRD off-road, which actually still needs some work. So these are my older rendering and I'm going to update all of them with a more of a photorealistic image. And this was the TRD Sport with the hood scoop and then finally the uh, TRD Pro. So this was uh, an image I created about three to four months ago and uh, it turned out to be very accurate in comparison to the actual photo of the TRD Pro. So I hope that you have some confidence in knowing that my images and rendering would be accurate again. And talking about the powertrain, Toyota also gave us this sneak photo which showed the red body color in the back and then the iForce Max logo with the blue color inserted. So I knew that this was a hybrid engine and the hybrid should be offered for both the Platinum and the TRD Pro with a significantly increased power and torque over the baseline engine. 
Now going back to Platinum Story, this is the flagship of the Tundra in terms of luxury features, so it will have a full complement of all kinds of features, including the JBL system, a full leather seating, and 360 degree camera, and digital rear view mirror, to name some of the features in the Platinum. Now it might not be obvious at first glance, but I made a lot of changes to the TRD Pro photo to create the Platinum photo. So I removed the three marker lights both in the front grille and on the side and added the uh, Toyota emblem, which by the way you'll notice is blue because I suspect the Platinum will be offered in the hybrid format. The entire grille was for reformatted and now it shows the egg crate design in sort of a semi-chrome or satin finish versus the black finish in the TRD. Pro. The headlights will be the same as the TRD Pro, so I didn't have to change that. It will still be the LEDs. And then there's a little grill underneath the headlights, which was black in the TRD Pro. But here in the Platinum, I changed the color to kind of aluminum or satin aluminum finish to match the grill in the front. So those are some of the changes I made in the front. I've uh, also continued to work on the rest of the front design, uh, changed the color of the bumper from black to white to match the body color. And then I kept the two fog lamps however and obviously all of that kind of camouflage or army pattern were removed from variety of the black trims that was in the TRD Pro. I also removed the two TRD Pro emblems that were on the hood but kept the two bulges on the hood because I think that will be carried over to other Tundra models uh, and then again removed the black uh, wheel well trims and converted to white body color matching wheel well trims. I added the platinum emblem on the side of the truck uh, and I also began to work on the wheels because the platinum has a 20 inch wheels not the 18 inch wheels we see in a TRD Pro. Uh, I made sure that there's Toyota logo in there with a six lug nuts and uh, wheel design reflect what the Platinum might look like. Uh, the little side step uh, that was in the TRD Pro has been changed to a retractable electric uh, side step which is something I expect to have in the Platinum as well. The rest of the truck hasn't been changed so much. Uh, I kept the rear basically the same. The tail lamps are going to be clear type versus the darkened version in the TRD Pro. Uh, the mirrors are the same. There might be a chrome trim here or there, um, but otherwise I kept that uh, basically identical to the TRD Pro. And on the interior, I haven't changed anything, uh, but you can still see the, uh, the straps on the A-pillar for leather seat, which is in red right now. It should have ventilation and heated seats as well, and the rear window should roll down as before uh, and there's a huge panoramic sunroof or moonroof that should be standard on the platinum which you can kind of see in this rendering. I doubt the uh, red seat belts from the TRD Pro will be carried over to the Platinum because the Platinum is luxury oriented, not uh, sports oriented. But the uh, rest of the interior should have a similar feature such as a JBL sound system, the newest Toyota OS system in the infotainment which should be 12.3 inches, and a whole variety of other luxury features. Now here is the what the Platinum looks like in the background of a kind of mountain scene and it give you a little bit better 3D perspective on what the uh, Platinum might look like. I think this is going to be pretty close and I'm quite excited because it's a beautiful design. It kind of gives uh, this uh, truck a bit more of a depth and a bit more of a character. Uh, of course the uh, TRD Pro is a beautiful truck and that's the one I'm going to buy when it finally comes out in a few months time but uh, a lot of people do like the Platinum because it has absolutely every possible features in the truck. It's going to be very upscale. It's going to move the Tundra up a notch or two and allow it to compete with some of the best trucks out there. So I'm really curious as to what people think about the new Tundra Platinum design. I'm pretty sure this is going to be 95 to 97% accurate. The front grille, the front design, and all of the colors are being uh, changed properly to reflect what the Platinum might look like. Let me know in the comments below if you like this better than the TRD Pro and also if you want to see the other variations of the Tundra such as the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Sport. I'm still working on those but I wanted to bring you the Platinum one first. Uh, there has been some rumors that there might be a version even higher than the Platinum which currently is a 1794 although the 1794 is very similar to the Platinum. Not a whole lot difference except for the uh, color of the seats and so forth. I'm expecting 
expecting the 1794 to be dropped for 2022 and to be replaced by something else which we don't quite know what that is. The 2022 Tanja Platinum should also come in other colors which should be the Midnight Black, the Magnetic Gray, the Silver Sky as usual and then for the white instead of Blizzard Pearl it should be the Wind Chill Pearl which has been the newer white colors Toyota has been using and there should be potentially some kind of red or brown color as well. Uh, maybe even a Lunar Rock uh, that could be offered in the Platinum for 2022. So let me continue to work on other variations of the Tundra such as the TRD Offroad and the TRD Sport and also the Limited and as soon as I create them, I will upload them to YouTube, of course, but also to my Instagram and my automotivepress.com website. So thank you so much for watching. It's great to continue talking about Tanjira. A lot more news to come. Uh, but for now, I'm signing off. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.